Diabetes Association scientific sessions, the largest diabetes meeting in the world. I'm Anna Baker with the latest news and research from the Pennsylvania Convention Center here in Philadelphia. Some very good news today for people who use long-acting insulin glargine, also known under the brand name Lantus. Previous studies had suggested that there was a connection between using it and a risk for an increased risk of cancer. But as just reported here at Scientific Sessions, three new major studies examining its use in the United States and Europe have found no increased risk of a wide range of cancers compared to other long-acting insulins. Just one of these studies suggested a slight increased risk for breast cancer, but it was only among new insulin users. Additional follow-up will definitely be needed to confirm this finding, as data from the other studies suggested no increased breast cancer risk from glargine. Researchers in five northern European countries and at locations across the United States looked at the association between the use of insulin glargine in all cancers, as well as individual risks for breast cancer, colorectal cancer, and prostate cancer. The Northern European study of insulin in cancer in particular is a very, very large study. It consisted of nearly half a million participants, yielding more than 1.5 person years of observation. So again, three separate studies have found no increased risk of cancer associated with relatively short-term use of insulin glargine. Insulin is safe to take daily, and that news ought to put many, many minds at ease. I'm Anna Baker, and this has been a breaking news update from the American Diabetes Association Scientific Sessions in Philadelphia. To view this press release online, please visit the Forward Media section of our website. And for the latest breaking news and research from Scientific Sessions, stay tuned to diabetes.org slash breaking news.